college scouting in the year 2020? Well, breaking news, it's official. The Ivy League will not play any sports in the fall semester, including football. The Big Ten and Pac-12 will cancel their football seasons tomorrow. The ACC, the conference announcing it is going to play a 10-game conference schedule, and Notre Dame is going to be included. SEC approved a 10-game conference-only football schedule for the fall that begins on September 26th. Everything in 2020 is, is going to be something different or something with an asterisk beside it. Uh, for our process, the root of it is the same. Um, identify players that can help our football team. Our evaluation process in a normal year always includes the prior year of tape. So we've already looked at all these players off their junior tape, or if it's a junior, in, in those cases, their sophomore tape. At this point, uh, most of the Division I schools have decided to come back and play this year, so it looks like we will get some sort of 2020 fall tape that we will be able to evaluate. It's mostly the lower levels, the 1AA's and below, that have decided to go forward with some type of spring season. So they're just gonna have a smaller body of work to go off of on the 2020 season. Uh, but unfortunately, that's, that's what it is. Well, I think it's always uncertainty uh, that, that presents challenges. We are uh, creatures of habit in this business, um, you know, not just in scouting, but coaching and playing as well. And we've all had to change the way we, uh, we do our jobs. In a normal year, we'd be traveling uh, Monday through Friday and then hitting games on Saturday and then usually coming home on Sunday, Monday, the following week. Uh, this year, pretty much everything's from the house. So we're doing a lot of Zoom meetings, uh, just meeting with coaches, meeting with staff members, and then watching the tape from the house. Not being able to be in person, you know, make those personal relationships with the coaching staff, being able to watch a guy practice and see how he behaves in practice, how he talks to teammates, uh, how, how teammates respond to him. I think that's the biggest difference. You don't have those intricate details you usually get from putting your eyes on a player. So phone calls are much more important than they ever have been before. It's important to have a relationship with coaches on staffs, being able to call those guys anytime you have a question or concern about a prospect. It's always been sitting down with a coach in his office. You're at University of Oklahoma and you watch film for four hours and, and then you want to go pop into you know the receivers coach, you want to sit down and, and chat with him about a couple of the guys and you're able to do that and, and maybe you've done it for six or seven years straight and he knows you and he's a friend of yours and um, all of that stuff's uh, out the window this year. I would say some of the biggest challenges are just gathering some of the character information. So we're doing these Zoom calls, obviously there's 32 teams on the call. Um, so you're not getting as in-depth as you might be uh, when you're on campus talking to some of your sources in person. Also, just not being able to see these players in person. We can hit games here and there, um, but it's not one of those things where we're seeing every single school. Everything is uncertain right now. We think there's going to be a senior bowl, but we don't know. Um, we think there's going to be a combine, but we don't know. We think the draft is going to take place as scheduled, but we don't know. So that's the whole rub this year is that we have to be constantly ready to change on the fly. Uh, anytime we get new information, I, I pull the guys in. Maybe we do a Zoom call. Maybe we, we're on a group text or I'd fire out an email to them. But um, we've got to make a lot of adjustments on the fly to make sure that we're able to um, see every single player and give them the attention that they need, even though it may not be as hands-on as we'd prefer. It's our job to, to get it right, no matter what the situation is, and we're going to ultimately do whatever necessary to complete our evaluation process to the best of our abilities to help the Tennessee Titans on a football field.